So now you know how to create a module in Perl, and we created the calc module, module and it was uh, saved in the calc pm file. But how does Perl find really this module? How did Perl find this file? So let's go over how that uh, works. Actually, before that, I just would like to remind you, probably as you use Perl, you already used, first of all, you use the word use instead of require in many places. And that's what we are going to use in most of the cases. Now we are just explaining how require works. Secondly, you, you probably have shown modules that had a double clone in or even several ones. So you had you had you saw modules which has, uh, had a single name or a module that has two names is a, with uh, two columns in between them uh, or even two pairs and and so on so what are the story what is the story behind it when you say require calc Perl looks in uh, the directories that are listed in the at ink array at ink is created during when Perl was compiled, it was embedded into Perl basically. So there's a hard coded list of places where Perl is looking for modules. So when you say require calc, it will look for calc pm somewhere in at inc. Now, what's in at inc you can find out by typing in Perl minus v, and then at the bottom you will see uh, the list of directories um, in this direct in strawberry Perl. We had these and they, you don't have to care about the slashes this was in windows and linux it has it's similar note that there is the the dot is here so meaning that the current working directory is also searched but if your module is in the sub lib subdirectory perl won't find it for example so that's what happens if you require calc if you require a module that's called let's say mess double column calc then Perl will look for a mass subdirectory in the at inc, in one of the directories of at inc, in all of them actually, one after the other, and within that mass directory it will look for a calc.pm file. And the first one it finds, that's the one it will load. So there might be several of these in the at inc, in the directories of at inc, but Perl will find the first one in this uh, list. And if your module has three names, then Perl will just look for the mass directory. Within there, there should be a calc subdirectory because of this. And the clever.pm file, and that's what Perl is going to load. So that's how the loading of modules works. And we'll explain uh, what, uh, what is used and how you can change, sorry, how you can change uh, at ink for your needs.